Look, um, 42 years since the first discovery of HIV and AIDS. And now, more recently, uh, there were numbers that are coming out that uh, youth from the age of 15 to 20, there's been an exponential increase for, of up to 52%. Why is that, Governor? Um, I think one of the issues that um, comes out clearly is the issue of unemployment. Um, and with unemployment, we also have uh, poverty. Um, and talking specifically about, say, Bungoma, you realize that the, the survey that was carried out indicates that the top five counties that contribute to poverty in Kenya is led by Kakamega at 4.77, Mandera at 4.69, Turkana at 4.13, Nairobi at 3.194, and Bungoma at 3.7. So poverty is a contributor to what we are witnessing, the, the, the numbers increasing. And secondly, gender-based violence is also a great contributor to this, and this has also been attributed to Bungoma. And uh, Ali uh, Gulp to join us in these sensitization programs to let them know that having unprotected sex can lead to infections or even early pregnancies. So there's a whole campaign, and that is why uh, my deputy governor is a lady who has contributed a lot in fighting against FGM. She has also been a champion of matters, uh, women empowerment and youth empowerment. So the, the, the border borders, we are trying to upgrade them, and that's why I have a program which is very close to what the president was launching today. Uh, and I did this in my first term of giving uh, women, we had what we called Women Empowerment Fund. We had Youth Empowerment Fund and a disability fund. These funds were meant to empower people so that they, they, they move from the border border from a bicycle, you upgrade to a motorcycle, you upgrade to a matatu. So we really want to empower our people so that they don't, so that we, we deal with poverty. And that's why we are targeting the youth, especially the youth. This is, and you, like you look at the statistics, uh, between the ages of 15 and you said what? Uh, it's 15 and 29. 15 29. Yeah. These are the people that we really want to target. And this is not a war that I'm going to win as a governor alone, but I'm bringing in everybody. We are going to have, we have, we are launching what we call Equalize program. That Equalize program is going to address some of the things, like, you know, agribusiness. We are going to promote agriculture farming because most of our youth also don't, have not, have looked at agriculture in the negative a point, from the negative point of view. So we want to make agriculture also, you know, agribusiness so that we, for example, value addition and we also commercialize agriculture. So we are really targeting the youth. We also have started when, uh, uh, during my first term and this term I'm going to promote uh, sports also to engage our youth so that they are not idle because when they are idle, most of what they do is to go and take the cheap, cheap liquor and you see once they, check, they take the cheap liquor, liquor then they also are tempted to get into these vices. And like I said, for the poor people and the young people, the only other source of happiness is engaging in sexual activities. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing we notice, uh, Governor, is that a lot of the youth are reluctant to be tested. Yes. How do we change those attitudes? Yeah, we want to... Um, actually, one year when I was a governor, I, had, I, I invited everybody for public testing. I was surprised when I looked behind, the line had shortened, everybody had disappeared. <laughs> Everybody had disappeared. So we remained about three of us who are tested. But we want to encourage them that because when you are tested and you know your status, one, they will manage because, you see, uh, being HIV positive is not a death penalty. Uh, we know, we, once you know your status, then you will not infect others. If you engage in sex, either you will engage in protective sex or they also treat you early enough and then, you know, the stigma will also not be there. So we want to encourage our youth to know their status, to go and get tested. If you have engaged in a sexual activity and protected sex, it's good to know your status so that you don't infect others and so that if you're infected, you can, the, your, your case can also be addressed, addressed early enough. Absolutely. Yes. Finally, Governor, when it comes to what's working, Bungoma falls among the counties with 80 to 94% antiretroviral treatment coverage. Yes. How was this achieved? Uh, through sensitization, like I said, and uh, I must thank the community health volunteers, thank the medical staff um, for going out to really sensitize our people because we realize, again, as Bungoma, we are a transit county. 
um, we have trucks. And if you look at the statistics, you find that a lot of these uh, positive, uh, HIV positive cases are in a place called Bukembe, where we have trucks, uh, you know, stopping over, Kandui, Webuye, Kandui, and Malaba. So um, the staff have gone out of their way to get to those areas so that they are able to address the issues where they are. And also one, we are organizing for uh, parking for these trucks so that they are not parked in the markets where they are so that uh, our people, I mean, they become vulnerable because, like I said, again, there's poverty and sometimes these people in transit come with a lot of money and then they go in for, you know, to the ladies who are there who become very, very, very vulnerable. Um, maybe also good news is that um, as we speak yesterday, we received a consignment of 144,000 condoms, uh, which are going to be availed to the youth or people who want to, because you will not tell people not to engage in sex. That will be unrealistic. And also testing kits, they have also been there. So we really want to encourage that, and that has been achieved. And I want to thank the medical teams, the health, work, uh, health volunteers, and all those who have been involved in ensuring that the testing is done so that um, the, the percentage goes to what you have just read. That's right. Right. Governor Ken Lusaka, thanks so much for your time, and we appreciate it. And uh, keep up the good work out there. Thank you. Thank you so much for making your time.